day three out of um, Palmerston Atoll, heading towards Niue. Um, the weather finally has come down a little bit. This was really been snotty the last three days or the last two days. And, um, the winds come down. The seas are still pretty lumpy until uh, when they come down, it'll should be much nicer. It's been so uncomfortable, the roll. And I find myself having to, um, being unable to get around the boat without, without hurting myself. I knock my elbow or I'll knock my ankle or I'll hit my shin on something or I'll knock my head on something or my, God forbid, my knee on something. Well, I don't know, I'm just klutzy in, in this role. It's hard to, hard to get around, but um, hopefully it'll come down or I'll um, become a little bit more graceful. 200 and uh, some odd miles, 215 miles to uh, Newey. Should be, uh, it's Wednesday now, should be Friday morning, hopefully, when we arrive. Day six from Palmerston to Niue. Um, it's calm, um, just a slight breeze. Very nice night, you know, I slept really well. <laughs> but we're about 45 miles, 40 miles from the turn around the backside of um, Niue, and uh, there's no way I'm gonna make that today, especially not with this wind. I think I'm almost out of diesel, so I'm trying to not run the engine. Um, which means hand steering because I can't charge the batteries to uh, uh, feed that the auto helm. So, and that's okay. But we're not going to make it today in the daylight. I don't think there's no. I don't think there's a way I can possibly do that. So, I'll decide later today uh, what to do. I'll probably uh, just go this slow as whatever heave to if I have to, and then um, go pick up a mooring in the morning, I think. Um, what a beautiful day, man. What a great, beautiful day it is, though. Um, and if it takes another day, so be it, because this is just really, really nice now, really pleasant. It's just so calm, and I'm finally rested, you know, finally uh, adapted <laughs> to to being out here. It takes four or five days for me to get my shit together and get uh, my sleep schedule down enough to where during the day I'm not just constantly wanting to sleep. So finally I'm, you know, I'm, I'm with it. And uh, so if I have to stay out another day, that's fine. Breeze now. Nui is in sight. It's about 10 miles in front of me. It's a flat island. I thought it would be um, taller. They call it the rock, and I, I just assumed it would be more, I don't know, I don't know, taller, like Alcatraz or something, I don't know, taller and, uh, and uh, smaller, but it's big, wide, uh, low thing. The problem is it's six o'clock, almost six o'clock, uh, five, uh, five o'clock, five thirty. We're ten miles away. The wind's light. The anchorage or the mooring field is on, around the back side of the island, uh, another eight miles up the back side of the island. If I sail on this at this speed, I will not get there until about. 
Oh, midnight, probably. 10, 11 o'clock. There's not a big moon tonight. It's a waning gibbous, no, waning uh, last quarter. So it's, uh, and now we'll be up till about at 11.30. So it's likely that when I get there, it'll be dark. So what to do, what to do? I thought, well, maybe I'll uh, shorten sail and um, leave the uh, autopilot on and uh, kind of just go up there slowly, like, uh, Kind of get down to a knot or something, but that's not going to help me. That's uh, I don't think I can get down to a knot. I can get down to a knot and a half, and then then what? I'm there at 2 a.m. instead of uh, midnight. That doesn't. That's not the answer. Some friends are on the other side and already moored, and they said, "Well, they'll come out with a in their dinghy and light the buoy, and so I can come in there at night." I'm not sure that's the answer either. So I'm going to sail for a while here, but I think what I'm leaning towards is uh, getting up here close to the island. Then I don't know what, four or five miles. And then heaving two. And then I'll drift off to the north uh, northwest at some rate of speed, probably half a knot or a knot. And then uh, get up at, uh, I don't know what time, I'd have to calculate, it's based on my drift, at 3 or 4 a.m. and um, sail back, try to get to there at, um, at dawn. That's what I'm leaning towards. It's the most prudent thing. Land scares me because uh, that's what's going to wreck the boat, not the open ocean. So I'm leaning towards uh, drifting off to sea here. It's a quandary, man. It's a quandary. 